One of the research projects, projects I've been working on lately has to do on what are the impacts of changes in the sea ice cover on the ecosystem. Over the past two decades, there's been a remarkable retreat of sea ice. We've lost over half of the summer sea ice cover, and we've been studying what the impact of that is on the ecosystem. In particular, we went up and looked at phytoplankton. These, that's the bottom of the food web, these tiny little plants in the ocean, and we had a remarkable discovery, and that that's that before these plants couldn't grow under thick sea ice because it was too dark. The plants need nutrients and sunlight and now as the ice thins there's enough sunlight and you get these large blooms of phytoplankton. In terms of the work I do, I've been fortunate to do some work with grad students at their school who are just tremendous to work with, and also some students from the Women in Science Project. These are typically freshmen uh, entering students, sometimes sophomores, and they get hands-on experience uh, working on ice cores, working on data, doing analysis, and that's presented at the end of the year. And it's just been a real pleasure working with these students. In terms of grad students, we've gone to the field together, uh, made measurements in the Arctic uh, at Barrow, Alaska, on icebreakers drifting in the Arctic Ocean, and it's just been wonderful working with them. One of the things in the past several years that's really changed my scientific approach to things is interdisciplinary research. I do sea ice, I work with oceanographers, I work with atmospheric scientists, and now working with biologists as well, and you realize the Arctic is a system. And when you change one component of that system, it has ramifications across the system. We have less ice, we have more biological productivity. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? We don't know, because the question is, are the other parts of the food web ready to access that increased productivity that's happening in a different place at an earlier time? One of the great things about working with their school is the students. I mean, the students clearly are academically talented, but more so they really show leadership qualities. They're willing to take ownership of a project and take it beyond what you originally thought of doing.